welcome to today's lesson. Today we're looking at how to use Google Classroom and um, also how to copy and paste in two different ways today um, and also then to look at some of the accessibility features within the Chromebook. Today you'll have to pause, play, rewind um, this video to remember exactly what you're to do um, and there's also some instructions to help. First thing we're going to do is open our Google Classroom. We're going to go to this little icon down the bottom. It says Google Classroom. It's a little green board. There's a person in front and we're going to click it. Depending on if you've been here before, you might already have a classroom that you've joined. It may appear here and then the icon may also appear here. You might be joining this for the first time. And if so, you'll have one of these little icons and it'll offer the chance to accept or click OK to join. You're going to click that and your teacher will help you know where exactly to click. For this, this is the classroom I'm going to be using, so I click practice first level. Today, if you wanted to know exactly what you're to do and you forgot exactly what there was, you'd go to classwork at the top, you'd find week one and you'd click on it. And then that gives you, when we scroll down using two fingers on our scroll pad, it tells us all about the different things we need to do today. And there will also be a video, this video actually, that you're watching right now, which is strange, and um, that'll tell you exactly what to do. But first thing that you're being asked to do today is go into the stream and you're going to add a class comment to reply to your teacher's message. So this question asks you, what are you most looking forward to this year? So you're going to click where it says add class comment and you're going to share. So I might say, I'm really looking forward to learning about the Romans or something else. Maybe you're learning your times tables. Who knows? Um, you'll see underneath there is lots of different options here to change what your writing looks like. What I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight this bit that says really looking forward. So I just drag my mouse across it and I'm going to make that bold. And you can see straight away that that changes. And I could go to the Romans and then I could click underline that and it just makes it have a bit of a different emphasis. You can also add a bullet point list and you can remove the formatting completely. But we're then going to click post and it'll then send. And what I really like about this is that it keeps it all nicely together. So instead of having lots of different announcements, this keeps a conversation really close. So that's the first thing you're going to do. The next thing you're being asked to do is to open a new tab so you're going to come up to the top where there's a little add symbol and you're going to click that to click a new tab. And I want you to find two different facts that you would like to share with the class. Because we really want the Google Classroom to be all about learning. So two facts that you don't think they'll know. So I'm going to search amazing facts for kids oh, or for, for kids about geckos. Wow. So you can see there's facts straight at the top. So this says, it's true, geckos can really lick their eyeballs. So I'm going to copy that first fact. So I'm going to highlight it. So drag across it. And then the first thing I'm going to do is maybe one way you've seen before. And I'm going to bunny click or right click on it. So two fingers on my trackpad. I click and then the option comes up to copy. So I'm going to click copy. I'm going to go back to my stream. Oh, back to my stream here. And this time I'm going to click announce something to your class. And I'm going to say, here are two amazing facts about geckos. And I'm going to then make this a list. And this time what we're going to do to copy and paste is we're going to bunny click again, two fingers on the trackpad, and we're going to click paste. And there's my fun first fact. If I press enter, the big return button, I then go down a space. I'm going to go back and I am going to go to a website now to find a different fact. Um, because I was really handy that it came up at the top. But I think I can find better facts. So I'm going to then click continue with the cookies. I'm going to scroll down and find amazing fact. Do, do, do. Geckos have excellent eyesight. Let's take that. It's maybe not the most amazing, but it's interesting enough. So I'll highlight it. And this time we're going to use the buttons on our keyboard. So we're going to click the one that's in the bottom left hand corner. That's CTRL control. So we hold that down and we're going to then press the little curly K to copy. I'm then going to come back 
and I'm going to go underneath and I'm going to press control again, hold it in and press B and then I'm going to click post. After that, we're 